I'm Valerie, and there are a hundred different ways to think about Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi. This is mine. As long as there's been a Star Wars, I have always identified with Luke. When I was seven, it was that while Leia was amazing and awesome and something to just wow, Luke was the kid who had to do his chores. Luke I got. A little bit later, I played Luke on the playground a lot, largely because I was the one willing to step sideways off of the top of the slide. Also, I could scream really loud. As I grew up, I found different reasons that he still spoke to me, and he has always remained the center of the saga for me. Even in the last couple of years, as I have been cosplaying Rey and interacting with kids as Rey and really connecting with her as well, that connection with Luke has always still been there. He's still the one that I get. So when we got that line in the teaser, we heard his voice say, it's time for the Jedi to end. I was pretty freaked out along with everybody else. And I immediately started thinking, what could that mean? My, the first place my brain went, honestly, is where it's been for a number of years, which is that, to me, for a very long time now, implicit in Luke's mandate is that the Jedi need to become something new. We've seen in the prequels, in the Clone Wars, how they contain the seeds of their own destruction, how ideas that may once have come from nature, from instinct, from looking at the universe and going, this is how this fits, became dogma and became rules and walls and, and, and things that they did because we've always done it this way. That set them up for what we saw in the Clone War and how they were destroyed. So the Jedi, as they were, needed to end a long time ago. They needed to become something new. And, and, and I've thought for many years that this was something that Luke understood. Luke, in Return of the Jedi, was presented with two choices, and he found a third way. That's always been incredibly important to me. But to translate that into something that he can carry forward, something that he can create as the new Jedi, is much more to ask of him than I think we realize. You know, compounding this, we have, for those of us familiar with the expanded universe, an alternate 30 plus years in story of his trial and error, and yes, there was error, in finding how to do that. And those 30 years, they don't have. We don't get to see step by step by step by step of his learning these things and the backward steps and the forward steps that were involved. We have to come in at the end of a big mistake that led to the bigger mistake of hiding himself away, of cutting himself off, and of failing for 10 years to grow beyond that mistake. That is an incredibly hard thing to ask of us. And it's hardly surprising that a lot of people are not able to do it. It's a little surprising to me, perhaps, that I am. I think Luke still stands for hope to me. Hope takes many forms. And the things that I've learned in recent years, the things that I've seen from friends who struggle with, with depression and with other things that make it very hard for them to see their way, I've begun to believe that it's important for Luke not to be immune to that. And it comes down to what you need from your heroes. If you need him to be someone who can withstand all of that and not break, or if you need to be him to be 
someone who broke and let that damage fester and compound and still found a way back. And he does find a way back. And it's little by little and it's tiny baby steps and you can see it happening if you look. And there is a joy for me in the scenes on Akto in The Last Jedi of watching him rediscover himself bit by bit. He knows what the stories are. He's had it with the stories. The stories, as someone I know on Tumblr said, leave no room for him. Luke the legend leaves no room for Luke the person. And he's forgotten how to be either, really, and has to relearn it. One of the very first things out of my mouth at the end of The Last Jedi, with the look on his face as he turned around to this kid holding out this improbable thing that he hasn't seen in over 30 years is it's his turn to be saved in a different way because despair is its own kind of dark side whether it's the dark side according to, to Jedi tradition or according to the way that people who have studied the force understand it doesn't matter the effect is the same you start, the, the spiral goes down and you get stuck. And that was not something he was taught to avoid the way he was taught to avoid the aggression and the, the aspects of the dark side that claimed Anakin. And then he compounded it because Luke needs people. He was lonely on Tatooine with guardians who loved him because he wanted more connection. He, connects with people the second he meets them, all the way through the original trilogy. He needs that, and he deliberately cut himself off from it, so of course he couldn't heal. Not until Rey comes along. And R2. You can't forget R2. The first time we see him smile, the first time we see him laugh, that's R2. And then he says, I wish I could make you understand. R2 is never going to understand the way that human minds work. If he did, he would have told them a whole lot of the things that he knew that would have made their lives easier a long time ago. His little brain doesn't work that way. He just knows they need him back and he's going to get him. And he's going to do a cheap move, which works by the way, to do it. That's the key. You know, it tells him Leia is calling. Leia sent this kid as a message. Leia sent this kid who needs him. And that's another piece that he discovers when he sees her go, go get called to the tree. And the way that he speaks to her in that scene, the quiet of it, and the insistence on her honesty, but in a very gentle way, that we have not seen yet. That must have been a big part of how he taught and gets her to admit why she's here and what is special about her because she doesn't clearly doesn't necessarily think that she's special she just keeps rattling off the resistance needs you and he knows Leia has sent him this message take this kid she needs you get it together and he still thinks at that point that he can't be what she needs there are still more steps to take Ultimately, to me, it's that he has to learn to be who he is again. And he has to learn things that he never quite managed to learn before. And the hope lies in the fact that he can still learn. That even at the point that Ray leaves, you're telling me not to go to Kylo? Fine, come with me. We, and, and if you won't do that, then I have to go to him. That's all, those, those are the only uh, possibilities she can see and he still can't bring himself to go with her. And then there's Yoda. <laughs> so it all builds bit by bit by bit until, of course, when we see him, first when we see him with Leia and oh, how beautiful that is. 
And the things that he says to her are so important because he says, I've come to face him and I can't save him. Which still sounds like defeatism, which still sounds like not the Luke that we know. And Elias says, I know my son is gone. And the answer is no one is ever gone. He and it's not going to happen all in one fell swoop. Vader didn't happen all in one fell swoop. Luke doesn't know the whole story and even he knows that. He knows that it took time between their confrontation in Bespin and the confrontation on the second Death Star. He doesn't even know that several years before that Ahsoka came and cracked open the shell of this construct of that was Darth Vader to give just the glimmer of something to what was left of Anakin inside. And then of course there's strike me down in anger and I will always be with you just like your father. He keeps bringing Han into it. He knows that Han is part of the key. And see your own kid. That's not an idle threat. And then there's that sunset. And that one shot, just for a second, and just from his point of view, that it almost looks like the twin suns on Tatooine. The circle is complete. It's time now for the Jedi to become something else. And that mantle is on someone else. And forward we go. I know that's not good enough for some people. I know that it's not what they need. And I respect that. I'm not trying to talk you out of it. This is where I am. This is what I've felt all five times I've been. Luke is still Luke. Things change, things grow, the wheel turns. The Force is with us. And until next time, bye-bye.